My dream to become an artist started in church for me. I was, I was raised in church. I was raised in the kind of church where the arts are very much a part of the service and a part of the curriculum for the youth department and also for the rest of the church. And I was there every day of the week. But while I was there, it wasn't just Bible study or church service. Cross up, up down, uh, come back around. It was really my training. The way that I came to know music and love music and know drama and dance and all of that was at church and through gospel music. Here we go. Three. And action. I remember being in a church play and I got the role of a little girl who was deaf. And so she signed. That was all I did. And I said to my mother, the next play I'm in, I'm going to talk. You know, I watched the adults in the play and I thought, this is what I want. Hey, punky. I just wanted to say I would literally kill somebody to work with you one day. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, girl. Oh my God, so many people have inspired me. Um, I think my mother more than anybody else because she's always been right there cheering me on and my pastors and my youth pastors and my leaders and I was extremely fortunate to have those people in my life. And then there are artists that I look up to, you know? Woo! I like the way it's coming together. Thank you. That art that you love, no matter what it is, dancing, singing, acting, it is not only important to the world, as important as any other job, but it's also your purpose. So many people pursue the arts and they give up. I think it's important to not ever act like it's over, because it's not. Knowing that that's what you're on this earth for keeps you in the running. We have way too much on the line right now, and we can't afford to let anybody jeopardize that. This is us all day, girl.